Good evening, all my friends and everybody else, and thank you for joining the show today. Somewhat of a different show than usual. Well, at least it's going to start out that way. See, I got a lot of people here, which is good. I am sure more will shuffle in. Now, I have been thinking about this for a while and decided tonight I'm going to tell everybody. And it's written throughout history, but people, as you know, do not read history. Therefore, we have what's called a situation. Now, if you look around today, you see depression on a scale you have never seen before. Illness on a scale you've never seen before. Unhappiness, bad posture, people trying and failing. Now, let's look at the usual remedies, okay? People are in stress all the time. What are the usual remedies, okay? Medication. Have seen too much success with that. Have not seen anybody ever take any of the antidepressants or the SSRIs. There's a whole list. And you go, hey, I'm in a great mood. Let's. Doesn't happen. Okay, then you have psychiatrists. <laughs> they have a great lot. You ever meet anybody who went to a psychiatrist? They don't seem to be any better. This is not like the 1930s movies where a guy goes to a psychiatrist with a woman and has a catharsis and comes out feeling great. So what is the cause of all of this the stress, this illness, this insanity that you see now hitting the world. Well, I'll tell you what it is, and you can call me crazy, it's okay, I've been called that before, but I'm not wrong. I may be crazy, but I'm not wrong. I'm crazy in a good way, so please do with me. It is, yeah, possession. That's right. It comes in many ways. It comes through, at one time, Ouija boards, other things. And now it's coming through television and video games. It is destroying men, families, women. And it is not the game. Believe me, it is not the game. It is a portal, and they know it. Believe me, they know it. To possession. And if you are possessed by multiple spirits, and you can just check it out, it's not just my word. The Jezebel spirit, which I talk about in the Bible, people laugh at it. It's not got a scientific name called toxoplasmosis. No cure except um, our Mediterranean oregano oil. But there are ways to knock these spirits out. Now let's look at history again as I brought up. Uh, the American Indians, every culture at one time had a form of exorcism. People were not that sick that then, not that unhappy, less illness, less problems, much more freedom in their mind, heart, body, and soul. It's been done with drums, it's been done with a lot of things, but it seems like, oh, come on, that's a bunch of crap. That's a bunch of crap? Look it up. More people are dying today from medical or prescription drugs than they die of illegal drugs. Addiction, it's a, it's a, it's a possession. And that's how I was brought up. And as I researched history, I saw that every culture that ever existed, all the great cultures of the world, all the religions, when they were actually practicing the real thing, they did possession. And uh, the reason that Jesus was able to go out and do what he did was because he wasn't worried about losing his 501c3 status. And I know this is not what, what you're usually turning to hear, but because I can see it in people, and it's something that you know I'm working on, uh, I, I can do exorcisms, yes, I can. They're no fun, but they work. Okay, got a question here, but I'll get back to that in a minute. Seriously, think about it. The Indians use spirit chases. Why? Chase away evil spirits. Were they stupid? No. The Africans use drums. Why? Chase away evil spirits. Were they stupid? 
The Egyptians had a bathing ritual to get rid of evil spirits. Were they stupid? No. The Romans, same thing, bathing spirit. Were they stupid? No. These are great civilizations and great things. And now look at people today. Worse than ever. Incompetent. And I, I, I fault nobody on this. I mean, it's just a really bad thing. I just want to let you know there are ways, and I'm going to have a webinar on this or whatever I need to do, to let you know how to actually get this out of your system. Whatever it is, it's something inside of you. Let's say, you know, for example, because this is about dating, you see a girl and go, wow, I want to go over to her. And you go, I'm scared. Hmm. Isn't that kind of weird? You have a force now working against what you want to stop you? Tell me another word for it. There isn't any other word. And I've gotten it too. I've gotten it too. But I studied and learned how to cast these things out. Now, can you do it yourself? Yes, but it's hard because you're going to fight yourself tooth, nail, and everything else because that spirit wants to stay in you. And again, I said, I may be crazy. I don't know. But I'm absolutely 100% on the money. People don't want to hear this today. People do not want to hear this today. So they go to yoga, emotional healing, you name it, they're there. What's happening? Do you see improvement? Not too quick. Uh, people in the streets who can't read and write. You think they want to be like that? I say no. And I say we got to get a mass movement going to help everybody. This war stops now. Just had to get that little bit of a rant out there because I believe this to be true and I have 6,000 years of history backing me up. They don't even have the new psychiatry anymore. At one time they were trying, they were looking, they were, now no, we want the people the way they are. Ballless, spineless, women bitchy, no one can get together anymore emasculated all by yourself so um, just let you know there'll be some new sites coming up and uh, whatever it is we'll knock it out and it has been done before this is not a, I'm not a first time with this so just getting that off my chest it was very important now moving right along that we say. What's really weird is um, those other dating gurus, you know, remember those guys they used to make fun of? Well, they all seem to be disappearing. Because I think it's about time and it's happening. And I don't want to see them disappear. I want to see them just change their approach. I don't like to see anybody losing. That's me. But why are they disappearing? The game, all that stuff, so all garbage now. Because they were appealing to weakness. Anybody who watches this show and deals with my products know we deal from strength, and from strength we are liberated. How do you break out of a, a sealed door? You knock it down. You don't try to talk to the door. I don't want to the police. No, it doesn't work. You bust it down. And they were appealing to weakness and people like, oh, I used to be a loser just like you. Uh, here's how to get women uh, completely prostrate yourself and beg for uh, no. So all the stuff that I have at GaryBrasky.com is about using power and strength, and really, um, I got a new one out called Real Badass Tactics, and those are some real badass tactics. I'm getting shit from feminists constantly, so we know it works because they wouldn't be saying, you know, "Pull that down." Or we're going to get you on this, that, you know, I hear it all the time. Why it works, new product, real badass tactics to get with it. Because that works. I don't deal with what, what works, okay? That works. Most guys today are because of many reasons. Possession is one, but because of many reasons. Cannot even stand up to a woman. So what do women do? They will step all over you, rip your heart out, and eat it for lunch. What do you have lunch today? This guy's hot. How about dinner? 
You know, it, it's getting crazy. People don't date anymore. This is a crisis right now. Uh, a lot of people sent me this article today. And, um, they said it sounds like my words. Um, Philip Zambato, you can look it up. How men have destroyed themselves by video games and pornography, which I always talk about myself. What does that do to guys? It makes you have absolutely no sex drive. That's not normal. That's not normal. We accept it as normal, but it is far from fucking normal. And they watch pornography. And pornography, I always said, don't watch it. In fact, don't watch it. Take a TV and throw it out the fucking window. Make sure nobody's on the ground before you toss it. That's all I ask. Because you watch pornography, there is no intimacy in there. There's no fear of rejection. And that's how they get you. And that creates a spirit inside of you that needs to be addressed. One of the best ways is knowledge. It's all there at GaryRoss.com, OccultForce.com, and BrainTrainPower.com. Because you can and you will change. But most of all, you need the knowledge to change. And most people do not want to change. I know the same guys, guys who watch the show, I'm not going to mention names. I have gone years without girlfriends, so other guys got the knowledge, applied it, and have women left, right, and center. So, you tell me, knowledge is power. Now, you know that by history again. Slaves were not allowed to do one thing. Read. Why? They didn't want them to have knowledge. Knowledge is power, and it's a power that frightens people. So, everything now at GaryBossy.com is on sale and if you click on packages everything in the world plus the kitchen sink is in one big package all the audios ever recorded all the webinars ever recorded all the dvds ever recorded and every ebook including ebooks i forgot about are all up on there right now in packages 72 hours only because you need the knowledge you need the power to break out you need to go and reclaim who you really are not what they want you to be. And I see it in people's posture and their eyes, the deadness, when people are standing around all day with their cell phones in their hand, iPhones, whatever you want to call them, smartphones. Got mine right here. I don't sit around all day staring at it. It, it, it stares back, it's a black mirror, it's an occult thing. I can do this, go on for this about forever. But let's see, I got some questions here. Okay, Chris, how are you? It's about time you showed up. Hi, Chris. Good man here, Chris. There's many Chris, but this, they're all good. This one, a little better. Good evening, and good evening to you. It could be because it's a time of the hockey playoffs, but the bread and circus have been on my mind a lot lately. It's amazing how everyone is swept away by playoffs. Something occurred to me. And it's pretty fucking disturbing. I can say any mail right now, our governor is raising taxes and cutting the budget. And that will make, that will mail. And that, and mails will just shrug it off. If you say your favorite team sucks, or your favorite player is a Finocchio, that same male raising their voice and crying like a woman, what the fuck, men need to get their priorities straight. Chris, this is 100,000% absolutely and totally correct you know um they did a thing on alex jones in times square people did not know who, who the two sides in world war ii were. uh they had some really stupid answers but they all know who their teams are bread and circuses was a way again to possess people they became obsessed with bread and circuses there's very little difference between bread and circuses and a video game now, Julius Caesar said this, I will give them bread and entertainment and I will steal everything they have, including their spirit, their soul, and their ability to fight back. He was not the first emperor of Rome. In fact, he never was an emperor of Rome. It was his idea to become emperor, didn't work out. 
When Augustus came in, he took away bread and circus, as did Marcus Aurelius and four other Caesars. That actually the five took them away. When bread and circus was taken away from the people, they were upset, they were pissed off, but Rome became a giant empire. That's history. I'm not making this stuff up. Hey, Jason, long time. Hi, Gary. There's only one way to win is to go to GaryBrass.com and go buy it. Help me go there now. Thanks, Jason. Jason, you're absolutely right. It's the real, real deal stuff out there. The stuff that works. And people don't like stuff that works because it requires them to change. People don't want to change. People are now content because there's so much support for misery, for failure. I mean, think about this, okay? In the 70s, girls were cutting their shorts so goddamn short. It was amazing, right? Hold the tops. Um, there were more dates and relationships and dating movies, love story, you name it. They had it out there. Now, you have girls dragging around their mattresses saying they were raped, weren't raped. What happened? Somebody changed you. People didn't change by themselves. What happens is there's a satanic agenda running this world. Follow their agenda, and they're going to take you straight to hell. It's right where we're going real fast, unless you wake the fuck up. And I ain't joking about that. Years ago, I lighted a cigarette up. People would say, hey, you got an extra cigarette now? People run for cover. Why? They have been programmed. And I mean it. Socially programmed. Oh, by the way, you go to GaryRath.com, sign up if you've never signed up before, and you get a free ebook with absolutely no strings attached. We will require your email address because how else the hell can we send it, okay? Simple question with a simple answer. But I've noticed this with young people. Uh, they cannot watch a movie because they can't figure out human relation. And this is becoming pandemic. So everybody, you know, needs more and more knowledge. It's not that you get to a point where you stop learning. You never stop learning. This is a new cycle people are in. I mean, look at what they're doing in schools, with Common Core, and all this other stuff. Why indoctrination? I know this is not the kind of show you, you expect to hear, but it has to be said. It has to be said. And I'm saying it. Now, hopefully there's some questions here. There's a hell of a lot of people watching. Yes, there is a question. Ryan, how are you? Good evening. Hey, Gary, curious and fun question. It's about time broke up the uh, tense city here. What does your daily routine look like? How many hours do you read a day? Thanks. As many hours as possible. I've got books still in boxes I ordered from Amazon. I read, I study, I research. That's what I do. And I sit there, and I put it together, and I put out stuff for you guys. But my daily routine is reading, studying, researching, talking to people, interviewing people, seeing what went wrong, and how to fix it, if it's possible. And one of the most dangerous things that I do is talk about the stuff I'm talking about right now. They want a castrated, dumbed-down, domestic society. Cooperate, and they'll get it. Oh, they'll get it, because you see it everywhere. How many times do you see guys walking around with bad posture, looking at the floor, looking half fucking dead, stomachs out the hair, arms like the cigarette? Now, when I talk about arms, I'm not talking about working out arms or going to the gym and building big arms. What am I talking about? Look at the 1950s. Guys wore shirt sleeves. They were cut off about here. Now they come down to here. Why? Guys don't have what's normal. Their testosterone levels are in the fucking toilet. Their sperm count is practically zero. And they say, okay, but what's on sports this week? And, of course, they have that voice, which I just don't feel like doing tonight. Sometimes you imitate something long enough, you become it. I don't think that's going to happen to me, but... Why take chances? Okay. All right. 
Gary, you're looking great tonight. Well, thank you so much, Renee. You're looking great tonight, too. Can't see you, but I know you do. Okay, she's kind of sweet. Post up dirty shit on my Facebook all the time, but what the hell. I dated her two sisters. Years ago. They still have me. That's because I've studied this my whole life. Now, back to spiritual possession. I had an aunt. Her name was Deveka. Durie Deveka. Cajun. She worked with, as you may have heard me say this before, but I mentioned this for a reason, guys who are failing in show business, as well as a plethora of other people. Three guys you may have heard of, Steve Allen, Johnny Carson, Merv Griffin. She said, there is a spirit in you. I can't do an accent. There is a spirit. Forget it. Um, there is a spirit in the way. She spoke English fine. Someone. Um, that is not letting you succeed. She did what was ever necessary, and the results are there. Now, a guy said to me, oh, that's bullshit. I had a guy say that. I said, well, really? You do the research, because she appeared in every one of their shows. He did the research. He did some research into her. He got so scared, shit, he don't talk to me again. Now, I don't know why. She only did good things. And yes, she worked on some of the Hindu uh, people who became big politicians. And I know her stuff. I'm just afraid to apply it. Because I'm not hidden down in the bayou in Louisiana. But I used to live down there with her. I met some people who eventually became very famous. And guess what? Had to do no satanic work. Became super wealthy. And guess what? No satanic work. She just removed the blocks. And she's taught me her stuff. And uh, All right, t-shirts. Hi, Gary. I wish I had some t-shirts <laughs> yeah. from the 60s. Not uh, 50s, I'm sorry. They got to show up some of my tattoos. On another note, I pulled the trigger on buying the Ultra Love Talisman from occultforce.com. I'm taking a chance. Besides, best case scenario, I get laid a lot. All right, there are talismans, and I have the super talisman for the Kabbalah, and they work. I keep them near my desk. I carry them in my pockets. I got two downstairs. I just got that aren't open. Yeah, these are the things that King Solomon used. And you see them all over Egypt. The same inscriptions. Why? They like the artwork. It was pretty. No, it works. And if it doesn't work, just for you, yes, sir, we've got the knife to cut it off. But don't worry, it works. You gotta do it one more time. It's so much fun. <laughs> but yeah, people are afraid to take chances today. You know who's not afraid to take chances? Kids. Before they get indoctrinated in the sick society that we call society. Why did every culture have spirit chases to knock out the bad spirits or talismans to protect you from the bad spirits or what's blocking you? All at occultforce.com, and there's a great one at GaryBrass.com if you want to go for the big money and get the big bang for your buck. And I can tell you stories of how great these things worked, and they work. But uh, I just have to say, you know, so that Marietta E. Baker said, if you took all the medication and threw it in the ocean, people would become more healthy and the fish would become sicker. I don't argue with people like that. She used a spiritual exorcism to heal herself when I told her she was terminally ill. No, I'm not going to deal with that. I'll fix it. And one of the ways to fix it on the website of GaryBrassi.com is... Change your body language, change your life. It's like 1995. And I'll tell you why it's so important. As soon as this fire goes out. Because body language is really what seduces women. And unless you have that voice to throw in with the body language, but it won't actually get rid of that voice. So for all voice sufferers, this one is for you and for everybody else. Whether you get a job or not, whether a woman will sleep with you or not, 
It's really based on the body language. Because the first few minutes when you meet somebody, how do you do it? You stand with your hands like this, so you have no dick. You can't stand with your hands like this, well, you open up. Yeah, I'm alpha, okay? I'm making a big difference here, see? I'm opening up. When you see the palms of the hands, what does that mean? I just washed with dinner? No. It means I'm now vulnerable. When you see the back of the hands, it means, hey, you better listen to me. They all have to be applied. Uh, posture exercises are in there. You know, look for an actor who has bad posture. Let me know who it is. They don't. Why? People are magnetized by good posture, good posing, and it's all there. And by changing your posture, you'll change your character. What, anybody go to martial arts schools? I'm sure a lot of you have. I mean, real ones. Like, you know, when I hit you and stuff like that. What does the sensei or sifu always say? Fix your posture. Don't, don't stay straight. Always straight. Why? Because that makes a warrior out of you, and warriors conquer, and conquerors win. Check it out, how to change your body language and change your life. Absolutely true. I mean, it'll change your speech. It'll change everything. If that don't work, throw some DHEA in there, Gary Bass, that kind of supplements. I didn't take it for a week, DHEA, for a week. That's why I'm drinking water. All of a sudden, I got a stomach out of nowhere. Why? I forgot to take DHEA. I wanted to try something. See if it really worked. It worked. I'm going to take it right now because this is going to be pretty soon. It's going to be in your house. Um, it's not that big, but it's getting there. The way I put my DHEA, I have like 15 open bottles here. But get your questions in. If you don't know how, Gary Brodsky, 123AOL.com. Send me an email, it bounces off the satellite in space, and comes right here. Yeah. Taking this shit right now. I'm tired of this stomach. I know what you're thinking. Why do you do some cardio? Go to any gym on me if this happens. Look at somebody doing cardio, how big their stomach is. And in six months, tell me if they got any smaller. Fact is, they'll probably get bigger. Cardio hits you with estrogen. It's called a birth control machine. It emasculates you. They come at you with every which way, every angle, everything. And that's why I'm pushing the talismans and the Kabbalah. And the Kabbalah has been used by the Druids, the Egyptians, the ancient Hebrews, the Romans. Why? Because it works. And it protects you from all the stupidity out there. Cuts right through the shit. Ah, Derek, how are you? Good evening. How can you visually tell if a person is demon possessed? Can you tell by looking at someone that they sold their soul to the devil? Oh, okay, that's a whole other thing. A lot of Hollywood people have a strange look to them. You're absolutely right about that. Like the eyes of the reptilian. Well, that's true. A lot of Hollywood people actually do have a strange look to them. In fact, if you've ever seen them and they're not performing, they're almost like dead. When they get up on stage, yeah. But this is not about the Hollywood demonic possession where they voluntarily go into it. This is about the day-to-day -day people who have become so dumbed down because... They've been blinded by, again, in the uh, Bible, Old and New Testament. They cast the evil out of people. They cast the demons out of people. Then, you know, I'm casting a flu out of this guy, and this guy has tonsillitis. I'm casting that out. No, it was always, I cast you out demons. And in my name, so can you, if you know how. I, I did one years ago. Um, it's funny because the guy was in bad shape and his wife had called me. This is about 22 years ago. And I said, I don't know. I don't want to make it worse. I was just doing this new. And she said, how much worse can it get? He's fine now. <laughs> bad posture. Here we go. Hi, Gary. 
with my martial arts training, I wasn't told to change my posture until after taking a couple of good hits from the master. After that, after having that done a couple of times, your posture is solid. Yeah. Little things like that are small steps to getting the horrors that, that are in you. When you have a force working against you, as you know, to the last question, Ryan, how somebody is possessed. When they want to do something, yeah, I want to go over to that girl, or I want to go make a million dollars, but uh, I'm going to lay in bed today. That's possession right there. Why would a force work against you? You're in the same body. It's like, I want to do this, but I, I, I can't. There you go. You have a demon now fighting. And you want to wrestle a demon for the rest of your life? Go ahead. Otherwise, hit up occultforce.com, garybrassy.com, braintrainpowerhelps.com. One thing about demons is they're not these, it's not the exorcist, okay? Nobody's going to spit um, that stuff on you or, you know, their heads turn around. But they will fight you. They'll insult you. They'll yeah, get mad. That's about as bad as this is. And not dealing with the person, you got to deal with the demon. And I can't go into the whole detail. I have to do uh, exorcisms right here. But I've been doing that for many, many years. And I must say, quite successfully. That was my foot. Okay. Back to the show. Enough clowning around. That was actually not intentional, and the shin does hurt. All right, let's go to the next question. I saw one here. I could have sworn it. Lonnie, I will send you updates tomorrow, but thank you so much for joining the show. It's very appreciated. That was Derek uh, about the Hollywood people. Yes, they, they do sell their souls, but... In a strange way, people are addicted to sports have sold their souls. People are addicted to drugs have sold their souls. People are addicted to video games have sold their souls. I don't know it. Actually, they have not sold their souls. They have suspended their souls. For them, there is help. At one time, you know, all the, uh, more questions here. All the houses of worship, no matter what, the exorcisms. No, are you sick? Come in here when I start, you'll be great. Now, out of fear of losing their 501c3 status, they don't do it. Kind of sad, isn't it? That's not separation of church and state. But then again, most people don't even know that that's not even in the Constitution nor in the Declaration of Independence. Amazing, thank you. Okay, let's get some questions in here at Gary Brodsky one two three AOL dot com. Gary, let me say it slower. Gary Brodsky one two three AOL dot com. Okay, how to do that? Because that's a James Brown lyric. Little more water. No, I don't carry water around wherever I go. I just have to grab this. Because it looks cool. What have happened to guys? Okay. I just have to mention this. Trying to look cool to get women. What the fuck happened? They put a break on there? They put a new law? Coolness is no longer allowed? Is there a new law, a rule out there? Actually, yes, there is. They got you subliminally through your goddamn video games. The computers that you set, yeah, 19 hours a day, driving some stupid car that doesn't even exist. But they got you. And you got to pull yourself out of it. There are so many audio programs I have that just address this issue. All, all um, at GaryBrass.com, at SomeOfTheColdForce.com, and BrainTrainPower.com works. I have people who are addicted to that. I keep making up custom audios for them. Because you know the old thing. Okay, here's a good question. 
when I put rum next to the full SU, what happens? It brings spirits next to the SU that will go out and do work for them. This may sound, of course, to people who watch it, what is this guy, nuts? No, it shit works, okay? This stuff works. Nuts is stuff that works. I'll tell you a bunch of stuff that doesn't work. Medicating kids, labeling kids, um, the sickness of child abuse. I mean, all the illness in society today obviously has to come from somewhere. It just, you know, it all of a sudden explode. And I can't get into details of how it came and who summoned up the spirits because people out there are not going to like this, but you can fight it. I know you're going to ask how, and I can't do this. You have to come to the private webinars. And a lot of the private webinars have not and cannot be sold as audios. I don't want a lot of the stuff that actually getting around. Okay, let's get some more questions in here. We're running real good. We've got a lot of people watching. Gary Brodsky, 123AWOL.com. Well, I take a brief, a brief water break. Um, check out GaryBrass.com, Cold Force, and buy some stuff. Keep the show going. As Alex Jones says, we're not supported by the New World Order here. We depend on your purchases. So, um, just mention that. Now, I know people are going to scoff at the idea about possession and stuff like that. That's okay. Look at the world today, and you tell me how it got like that. To all my friends. And I have a question for everybody out there. Okay. In a very quick way. Everybody told me to watch this movie called Glenn Gary Game, Glenn Ross. I did. What the hell really happened at the end? Okay? I have no clue. So somebody tell me what happened at the end. I would like to know. I wasn't exactly sure. So if you can throw it in there, I'd be appreciating it very much. Well, look how things have changed. The cigar-smoking oak desk boss would walk around with a cigar in his mouth. He's not allowed to do that anymore. Hit on the women, can't do that anymore. Hitting on women is human nature, right from day one. But now they make you think it's bad, and you believe them. They lied, and you believe them. Okay, sorry, I just had to say that. Absolutely can. Absolutely be happy to make that audio for you. You hear it enough, you become what you hear enough. There's a lot of stuff I actually cannot talk about here. I'm getting a lot of questions of stuff I can't mention, which is kind of fun. But, oh wow, the time is just flying here. Okay, look at some more questions, Gary Brasky. 123.com for questions, but go to GaryBotsky.com, OccultForce.com, and BrainTrainPower.com. That's the real stuff. That's the real deal. I think I'm just relaxed now. My big muscles. <laughs> yeah, they're big. Okay? Same no bullshit. And you know something? They're going to get bigger. All right, now we come to the important part. Everybody goes to GaryBrass.com and order stuff. Just joking. Well, it was pretty fun to me. Look at any of the old comedians. All their stuff today would be completely incorrect. What is today's religion? It's not Christianity. It's political correctness. That's right. And people now die in the name of that religion. I hit the wrong button here. I just bought iTunes. Um, just kidding. 
So really, we have to think, are we fighting ourselves all the time? Should I do this? Shouldn't I do this? Should... Why are you arguing yourself? Because there's a spirit inside you that says, no, you can't do that. No, you shouldn't have this. No, you can't have that. And yes, there are answers to those problems. There are cures. There are at least relief. And one of the biggest reliefs is knowledge. For lack of knowledge, they shall perish. And boy, they perish in left, right, and center. I can't even talk to people anymore like fucking morons. Sorry, that's the truth. And they had that look on their face, like that sneer, like this. I can't do it because I don't have that look. There are few, very few guys today I can even talk to. Women, yeah, I can talk to some of them. In fact, I can talk to all of them. But some of them have become so viciously nasty. Why? Because there's no more alpha guys out there. It's going to happen. We got to all alpha up, get our friends to alpha up, get our enemies to alpha up. We talk about low frequency and high frequency. Alpha frequency is the highest frequency. And that's why you know, I'm, I have to do some webinar because who the hell knows is not going to like what I say. And I've gotten shit for that. So um, that's what stuff is said in private. Okay. can't really read this. You're coming out with, okay. Yes, I will be. Coming out with some new MK products. As soon as they're tested and proven that they work. Only one guy the MK product didn't work for. Only one guy. I called him up and said, why is it working? He goes, well, I don't go out. All right. Um, you get people like that. You deal with the public, you're going to get crazy people. I don't really make fun of crazy people. I back them up. I go, well, if you try going out, it might work better. He said, it did. It worked a lot better. So, um, now, you know, on the MK17, I do this all the time. Because I know a lot of people at the gym, they go, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to talk to that guy. Every excuse in the world, plus ones I've never even heard of. I take the MK on my hand. I go, oh, really? I put it all over the guy because it's totally odorless. And then women start bothering them. And they actually walk out of the gym. That's where one of my favorite you know, testing grounds is. And any of the women who at the gym who have the hospital news tell you, I didn't use the MK that night, okay? So they watch the show. Oh, all right. Thank you. Uh, a lot of people like the show. That looks good. Why am I smoking so much? Well, I actually really don't inhale. And I know you've heard that before. And I'm not running for office, so um, I did not know I did not inhale until recently somebody told me that. Yeah, I know. If I inhale, I get really like, dizzy and lightheaded. So I just puff cigarettes. Because if I smoked a pipe, it was really stupid. Now, if I take a cigar, I'll inhale it and turn green. Hi, Gary, Jason. I see the body language you talk about all the time. I see it everywhere. And their posture is so bad they could push a penny on the sidewalk with their nose. Don't be that way and go buy some blood gold and get rid of those negative spirits once and for all. Thanks, Jason. And thank you, Jason, for uh, mentioning the blood gold. The blood gold is... Moses used it. It's in all of all of the Bible. They took the gold and they ground it up so much that people drank it and became spiritual and cast out demons. Now, I don't want to write that on the ad, but I'm telling you, this is in the Bible. Blood gold on GaryRots.com. Supplements, you'll find it. You will feel different. The first capful you drink. First reaction everybody gets. First. is I'm not going to go to sleep tonight. Something good may happen. I may miss it. That's the first reaction already gets. And gold, as we know, attracts things. Hey, hey Danny, bonus error. Bonus error. I will try. Just keep the questions in, Dan, and I'll stay and do it all the time. 
But questions I can actually talk about on the air, on the open air. Great guy, Dan. Really great, but funny as all hell, too. Example. What is the best medicine? Laughter. It releases every good chemical in your body. Go to Starbucks. Go to a diner. You don't hear it anymore. Nobody laughs anymore. You can't even crack a joke. It's not politically incorrect anymore. So, yeah, they killed the great medicine. Laughter. Nobody even laughs all, laughs all the way to the bank anymore. It's a joke that somehow misfired there. Derek, good evening. Gary, can you overdo DHEA? I heard you can shut down the hormone glands of the body if a person takes too much. Is this true, Derek? I never heard that. Okay, I have never heard that. Want to see the results of DHEA? And I take a lot more than is recommended. Right there, okay? This big as my head. That's the results of DHEA. Builds testosterone. It's illegal in Canada. Why? Look up the reason. Because it gives men an unfair advantage over women. Women are naturally attracted to guys with high testosterone. And then again, guys know, like, nah, I don't want to have high testosterone. I don't want to be alpha. I don't want to be a leader. I want to be a jerk off like everybody else. No, you don't. No, you don't. They can't shut down shit from what I've heard from doctors. And I do work with doctors on this. That's why we have the only real DHA in the world. I got bottles of fake shit here. It don't work. But it says DHA. Yeah, but if you haven't analyzed, it ain't DHA. It's calcium carbonate. I can't show you the brands because they'll sue my dick off. All right. Blood Gold Rocks keeps me so calm. Gary, you're the best. Thank you. Does the same for me too. And I'll tell you something. I am. I have only enough for customers, not enough for myself. So I'm going crazy, but it's coming Tuesday. My like Tuesday seems like it's years from now. That's how much that stuff works. It is the most calming agent in the world. It helps cast out spirits. What the, the whole world went for gold. Everywhere you went. The Asia, gold is currency. The Mayans, gold is currency. Egypt, these guys have made each other and decided or sit down and figure out what's currency, what's good, gold. Why? Because it instincts with people to know it has value. There's even stories, or well, more than stories, I actually have some proof, but I'm not going to talk about here, of people coming from other planets to get gold because it's that good. They use it for air filters and drinks, not for, uh, you know, I always do the Brooklyn joke, and the thing around that is Anne Marie. They had three names made up, Anne-Marie, Darlene, and Donna. I'm just going to store and buy that. And they had Kathy, too, because my friend used to buy him. Only did a girl's name, Kathy. Why did she go buy the jewelry, pre-made? Hey, I had this custom made for you. No, it's in every window on 86th Street. Dan, you know about that. All right, got to have some more questions. Got to keep the show going. Is anybody going to GaryRuss.com? You bet your ass they are. Oh, look at that. Okay, what time is it? I don't set these things. Um, oh, I have the phone, I have the computer. I have a sundial, but it doesn't work at night. I gotta get that fixed. I should get a sundial. I really have some. I, I'm gonna put a sticker on this as Rolex, just to be funny. One of the best bumper stickers I ever saw was in Brooklyn. This guy had a Corniche Rolls-Royce convertible, brand new. It had a bumper sticker on it that said, my other car is Rolls-Royce. That's what I like to see. How powerful is the Ultra Love Talisman? Well, King Solomon had like a thousand uh, women. He also had the exact duplication 
of what King Solomon had. This is a wealth talisman. Again, I showed you. They work. All you gotta do is hold them like this and think about money. Doesn't matter what good or bad, this thing is gonna override any negativity. Why did these things exist 6,000 years ago, 5,000 years ago, 4,000 years ago? You think the people had, oh, I'm a moron yet, science didn't discover anything. They're all just, oh, our science? Yeah, science discovered a lot. And it has. But science has never touched the spirit. And these things come fast, because we have a guy who does them real quick. With the exact same engravings that were done during the days of King Solomon. There are the ColdForce.com drop-down menu talismans for those who can't find it, and also for those who can find it. Well, thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel. Three people tonight. Is never a bad word? Why did they say never say never again? Is that James Bond shit? Is that a bad occult act? Is it stuff working against you? The word never? No. Say never say never. I, you know when I heard that? In trail parks when I was in Louisiana. Never say never. Bang, shut up. You just said it. Then I don't know where you come up with this stuff. It's great. It's really, it's unique. Well, I'm getting becoming a heavy smoker, I'll tell you that. Will you break up the uh, tension here? Now there's more people watching and less questions. You want to explain that? I can't. Okay, they ran away. Okay, great. Borderline personality disorder. Question for you, Derek, before I even read this. In any of the old books, any of them, do you hear that mentioned? Was pre the possession. A lot of study girls have borderline personality disorders. Do you know about this mental illness? Do you think these girls are demon possessed? Yes. But they're great in bed. But you'll have a relationship that will destroy your life, and you probably know that. I heard Marilyn Monroe and Lizzie Lohan, actually Lohan, have borderline personality disorders. Thanks. Borderline personality disorder is, there's a word for it. Uh, I forgot how to describe it. Come, come here and get away from me. Yeah, borderline personality disorder is relatively new. Like all the new mental illnesses are relatively new. Why? New spirits. I know how they're being conjured up. I cannot talk about that here. But just protect yourself. It's like boxing out there. Protect yourself at all times. Don't drop your guard for a second. Thank you. A lot of people thank me for this show. A lot of women on here too tonight. Now I was going to do an experiment, but I'm not going to do it on the open air. So, all right, let's talk about possession, stuff like that. What you see, what your opinions are, get them in right now so I can continue the show past uh, the usual time I end. Gary Brodsky, one, two, three at AOL.com. About all at once. <laughs> Hi, Gary. Hi. I had one guy tell me that wearing quartz to remove negativity wasn't scientifically proven. My response was, "Oh, really? I bet you roll. I bet you're rolling in all your money and pussy, aren't you now?" His response was, "Well, no, not really." My response was, that "Was." Not with your shitty attitude. End discussion. I love that stuff. Keep those coming. Vic, good evening. Great to see you here. 
Is this a thing as evil spiritual attacks when working towards success? It seems like I get highly motivated with my work ethic. Bad things happen. I continue to work, but is there any way to prevent these bad things from happening? Thanks. Victor, I'm not trying to sell products here. But what is happening is a spirit in your mind says, uh-uh. And not one, one that, that, that lives in there. Yeah, you're going great. How about this? How about that? A little this, a little that. They're vicious. That's how I got into the occult, because it stops it. I recommend going to Gary Brodsky, no, occultforce.com, drop down menu, talismans. And if it doesn't work, keep talisman, get the protection or prosperity one. If it doesn't work, 30 days, 40 days, 2 days, 6 days, 35 years, keep it and just send me an email. I'd like a refund. Okay? That's the deal I have with Vic, not everybody else. Or 15 or hey, I have a great deal. No, just with Vic then. Because it's going to work. There was only one refund this week because the guy used a stolen credit card. That was it. Oh, crazy girls. I gotta like this one. Do you have a lot of crazy girl stories? What are your top worst stories? Thanks, Terry. Oh, I, I gotta think of that one, but I, I, I'll, I'll tell you something. Else. I have like crazy women. Yeah, I got a lot of crazy girls. I, I mean, it's like endless. If I start, um, well, I got a funny pale head story for you. Uh, pale head, head was my brother. That's what we call him, pale head. That's what everybody calls him everywhere. Even the school teachers called him Palo Head. He worked at the suicide hotline. He wasn't helping people get out of suicide. He was trying to get loans for people he thought were actually going to commit suicide. He got fired. But I have a lot of crazy girl stories. But uh, I'm in touch with all but one girl I've ever dated. I don't want to do the crazy girl stories here. Because... Yeah, it's just not right. They know they're crazy. They're still out there. I still love for when I'm 16, 15. You know, it's like, you know, they still, they still hang around. Why? Knowledge. That's what GaryBots.com was invented for. Okay, question from Dan. Is it going to be good? I know that. Women are being played. Sometimes I notice when women find out they're playing, they're playing played, they leave the guy though they love him because they said this is the hurtful thing in the world. Will women, will a woman with such a condition ever move on from that? It's kind of hard to answer that. But they usually, you know, guys who play women, the women leave them, they, just, they come right back. They come right back. You play women. I'm never talking again. I'm never speaking to you again. I hope you die. Two days later, hi. You busy? That's the way it works. I, you want to have to play women on a text? It's right there, GaryBrass.com. The texting game. Most guys do not know how to text. This is how most guys text. I sent the girl a text. It's been three years. She hasn't gotten back to me. You send a text like that. She won't text you back. She'll be your doorstep. Text the game at GaryBrathsky.com. Proven to work. Health and age. Okay, got with this thing to populate here. Then populate. Gotta close this, open this, put it around my head twice. Everything's a ritual here. There we go. Health and age. Didn't at one point humans used to live hundreds of years? How do we make it back to that point in time? There are ways. I can't talk about that here. But there are ways. The only thing I probably have with webinars on that is, you know, what is it, come back in 50 years? Me personally, I have no fear of death. And fear of death will kill you. That's one of the things I actually have 
a shitload of notes on. What kills most people is fear of death. Kind of a weird thing, but that's the way it works. Junius, how the heck are you? Nice of you to pop in. Hi, Gary. I'm burning candles in my home. Helps me feel comfortable. Does that also help with protection from bad spirits? And yes, I give no gifts today. My hello was enough. Oh, that's great. Yes, candles. Why did they burn candles in every house of worship? Because it works. There are so many things that work that are just not mainstream, that are hidden. And the other word for hidden is occult. If any of these are watching this show, you know occult organs are hidden organs. Is stress a demon? Stress, anger, hate, all demons. All demons. Because think about it, they only exist in human beings. They don't exist in animals, uh, nothing. Animals can't get mad for a second, but they don't care. It's like my dog, Big Pit, Lab Mix. He never gets mad except when you go to the Venetian blinds. He stops, he stops. But he'll always love you. Animals don't have that. It is akin to people, and it is forced or foisted upon people to be stressed out in everything. You know what's uh, funny? Because you hear people going, I'm really busy, I'm really busy, I'm really busy. But they don't even have a job or a business. But they're busy. What do we want? I have no idea. Probably watching sports or playing with their iPhone. Derek, how are you? You're back. There's a cute girl at, at, at my church that seems to be interested in me. I have a long-term girlfriend. I want to get to know this church girl more. Should I ask her for a number or just connect on Facebook with her? First, to keep it casual. Let's see how it goes. I'll tell you this right now. There is no casual in this walk. To pick up a woman, there's no thing as casual. You got to hit hard. Give me a phone number. I'm calling you. We're going out. And that's it. That'll work. There is no soft approach. Uh, you should check out that new thing. The real badass way to get women. You'll see, women don't like a guy who's not bold. And this is not to you, Derek. This is for all, all men who watch this. A guy who makes a bold statement. Like, hey, you. Come here, sit down. I need you. With the accent, of course, from Brooklyn. That's not necessary. That's throwing it for extra. Hey, you know, sit down here. I, I want to take you out. In fact, I'm going to take you out. What do you think of that? I, I don't take no for an answer. You want to tell me no? Tell me on Tuesday. I don't have time for today. Women favor the bold. Fortune favors the bold. Who gets the money in this world? The guys who take chances. Who gets the women in this world? The guys who take chances. Who gets nothing? The guys who do nothing. Hey, Gary, hope you're keeping well. Thank you so much for saying that. I hope you keep well too, Jason. Different Jason. I think I've overdone it with the rituals as they are no longer yielding me the great results I used to get at the beginning. I might be blocked. Can you talk about skull candles and how to use them to remove negativity? Thanks, Jace. Yeah. Just get a white skull candle and light it. When you light it, say, I light this candle to remove all negativity from my head. And it's gone. Because in everything, you're going to hit a sticking point. Bodybuilding. And you got to break that through a barrier. It's just that you actually reach a very good point and you want to break through. You actually had a good point, I can tell from this, but you got to break through. Sometimes you overtrain your spirits. Give them time to rest. Here's a candle. Here's one that works. Light a white skull candle or light any candle and say, I'm lighting this candle to honor the spirits. Don't want anything back, just to honor the spirits. Boy, will they come back big time. Okay, I'm going to smoke the cigarette and end the show. So please get your questions in. Please get your purchases in. Women are fighting. 
I noticed in some fights I was in, I also speaking that women took big interest to watch it. I was horrified when I went to stop, but somehow looked genuinely interested, even horny. Is it because she feels like the women can manhandle her afterwards? In a sense, yes. I know it's going to piss people off. But what do animals do? They fight for the woman. Deers do it, any animal, antlers do it, gorillas do it, the silverback, you ask for a woman. Women like winners. It's all over the animal kingdom and in the human kingdom too. Women like winners. That doesn't mean you have to win a lottery or have a giant mansion. Just a winning personality. Again, let me hammer this into your head. I don't have a hammer. But if I had a hammer, let me hammer this into your head. What looks are to men, confidence is to women. If you're confident, that's all you need. You're a winner. A winner is a confident person. That's it. Because I know people in the stock market, they're rich one day, poor the next day. They're a winner one day, poor the next day. No. If they have confidence, they're a winner every day. That is the message. Okay, just check out some more questions. Gary, mafia money is great because I really understand it from the old days. As a street hustler, and do the mafia use? Does the mafia use a cult? They burn saints. Think of their rituals: blood sealed. Any organization, any people, any person uses the occult to get ahead. Look at all the occult stuff in the mafia. They burn the saints, and the saints pay a pat packed up all over their uh, social clubs, have to get in, they, yeah, there's a blood ritual, they got to get in. Why? Because they like it? No, because it works. A cult and athletics. So here we go. I don't <laughs> imagine a cult and great health like white candles and such. Can you use talismans, shungite, and rituals specifically for fitness and stamina to keep going longer, be faster, and be stronger in the gym and the field? Yes. It doesn't strengthen your body. It will strengthen your health, though. So you don't have any health issues, aches, or pains. But it will give you the motivation and the drive to succeed. That's what it does. It doesn't do it for you, but it gives you the motivation. I don't go to gym and live Like that type of mo insane motivation, which is not insane. That's how people used to be. Remember when people used to be like, I got to get that girl. I got to go to the gym and lift 500 pounds a night. I'm doing 15 sets so I can't walk out of there. Now it's like, eh, 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 and nobody has the motivation. So they will give you the motivation, the strength, and the desire. That's what they're for. This all comes from the Bible, by the way. King Solomon seals. Richest man ever lived. So rich people can't even figure out now in accounting how much money this guy had. But he had the seals. All right, Dan, how are you? Are the talismans really as powerful as you say? Yes. They all work in hand in hand. Is a right hook more powerful than a left hook? No. It they all work hand in hand. It's like you, uh, you can have really powerful arms even to your chest. This is overall yes. This increases the power. One thing builds on the other thing, and they work. Absolutely work. I've always become obsessed with them because the way they just hit me is just unbelievable, like within seconds. Any home rituals for attracting great opportunities? Plenty. A coldforce.com. You do it all at home, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's done in your house or in China or in Bangladesh. You will get results. It's not like next day service. I did a ritual. Boom, rains money on you. But all this stuff does work because why? 6,000 years of proof. Anyway, let's get the last question of the night. If there is one, if not, the show is being closed till next week. 
and they're here. When's the next new Len audio coming out? Also, uh, I don't know, I gotta call him up. He got a little pissed off because people just didn't seem to have the drive. When he asked, is there any questions? Nobody had questions for him. And he got everywhere by asking questions and as far as the occult stuff does, he does everything. So they put something up, he's the first customer. But I'll try to talk him into it. Also, we're on a date with a really boring girl. <laughs> so does everybody. But she was seriously sexy, just wouldn't engage with me. I wanted to bang her, but she gave me no opportunity to charm her. What would you do in a situation like that, Jace? I would just keep moving in on her until she said stop. I've had those boring girls, and some of them I just need to be led. So she's boring. What the heck? I want to bang her. Your goal was stop because you took her character seriously. Go for your goal, and when she says stop, that's when it's over. You all know that. But she may have been just looking to get laid, but did not know how to speak of it. She may have been just shy. That's sometimes a very good sign, actually. Try her again, but move in. Start kissing her hands, start touching her. She may go completely nuts. Odds are good she will. Okay, I'm pretty done with this show. Hey, thank you everybody for watching. Wow, so many people here tonight. Don't forget, GaryBrasky.com, OcultForce.com, BrainTrainPower.com, and um, thank you all for watching. Check out the websites. Uh, God bless you all, prosper you all, health, joy, happiness, everything you ever wanted. Thank you, and good night.